so I already met, I already know you coming up in the nineties because you was talking about because uh, tape cassettes and all yeah. that. You know, um, what do you think about artists that still get the hard copies and they try to push the hard copies? Do you think that hard copies are like just dead? Like, is it kind of like a um, no use type situation? I don't think it's no use. I think you would really need fans to to press hard copies. If you don't got fans, don't don't even bother on it. Cause you could use that same money to uh buy some promotion online. See, I did a whole lot of things incorrect. And now that I know that, I would say don't buy hard copies. Um make them, you know, use that money. So let's just say five bucks. Or let's okay, let's 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 break it down to what do what do how how much would it cost for a hard copy if you don't make them on your own first of all you have to pay a little bit extra so let's just say it's a dollar per copy um so that's a a cd cover and wrapped in in plastic and 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 all that stuff right with the cd with the cd inside one dollar so if you got a thousand bucks and you bought a thousand cds and you're gonna try hard as hell to sell cds you know um, you could, if you got real fans, make that money back or at least, you know, make what you what you invested in. But if you don't, if you don't got no fans, you're sitting on a thousand copies, you know, and um, or if you if you do like something like I did, I bought like the whole fucking setup, man. I fucking I bought the the disc maker, t- 11 discs at one time. I went and I figured out how to to package them and all that shit so i got the hard copies on deck but um again if you don't got fans they're just sitting in the box you know waiting to get sold but if you take that let's just say if you take that thousand bucks and then promote it online you're already distributed or you take 500 bucks promote it online um and put another 500 in making a video and a little bit of extra whatever on on promoting the video on some type of platform or fuck with somebody like like uh clowns you know what i mean fucking put yourself out there and that money will that 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 investment will be a good investment so it basically a bad investment unless you got fans to to buy your right. to support you because there are fans that really want the hard copy they want you know that cd signed and get you know give it back to send it to you with a t-shirt and a sticker and all that shit but you know you need fans need fans. you know what that's and and uh, i think i think at this point like in 2023 i think that's really the only purpose of a hard copy is for a real fan to have it with a signature yeah. you know what i'm saying because a lot of that, there's like a cd there's there's people that don't even really know what a cd is anymore you know like youngsters there's youngsters out there that have no clue what a cd is because there's not even a cd player sometimes like you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah well that's another thing too man then you sell you try to sell cds and it's a and it's a gamble to the buyer so the buyer is like you got somebody trying to force a cd to to sell to you and then just to get them out of your face you're like here's five bucks or ten bucks or whatever and then you know again like you said uh, do I even got a CD player, you know, right. then you put it in and you don't even know what you bought. You put it in, you listen to it. And then, you know, if you got garbage music, it's, it's just garbage music, man. So you take it out your CD player and you frisbee it out the window, you know? So that was a gamble that, and now you lost, you lost because you sold somebody a CD that's trash, you know, or, or, oh man, this is, yeah, I could go into this all day. <laughs> Go, you know? keep going. Well, shit, you got fucking. Then you're gonna have a uh, uh, people that just back you up because they're your people and shit, man. And and then you know they're not gonna play your CD. They're just hooking you up because they're your people and your people love you and shit, you know. And then that's music that never got heard, you know. Right. So it, it's it, I say I say you know. And then fuck, man, I made I made a lot of uh, wrong moves. <laughs> And that was one of them. So I say, 
you know, invest your money instead of buying hard copies. Cause that's how it goes, man. It's like the typical, uh, like kind of like in the beginning stages is like, yeah, dog, you know what we got to do? We got to get some hard copies and we got to go out and we got to do this. That's like a, a typical, like first stager, you know what I mean? But if you're like fucking seasoned like myself, you're like, all right. It, it, it's like the story of the, the, the two bulls, you know, that story. <laughs> Um, the father bull and the son bull. Yeah. 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 He says, he says, hey, pop, how about we go down and fuck one of them, one of those cows? And he goes, no, son, let's walk down and fuck them all. That's you know? Right. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm like, man, I, I, but the thing is, is like, I'm at a limit right now. I can't do what I used to do. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just advice to anybody out there, you know, doing doing their doing their thing man spend your money correctly you know 